Disclaimer. I am not the author or a contributor to the information presented in this video. I am simply using excerpts from the documentation itself and highlighting brief sections from the Ultimate Summoner Duels Guide as an introductory guide to entire documentation. I would highly encourage you to read the entire guide in your free time. Not only will this video be scratching the surface of the information presented in the guide, but also those involved with the guide are constantly updating it as time goes on. Special thanks to Mysticut, BC, Super Pope Gal 123, and Adara for everything they do in order to keep the documentation up to date and thoroughly explained. SD Mechanics To start off, let's go over how the mode works. You fight with a team of 5 units. The first slot of your team is the team's captain. Restrictions You cannot enter a battle with less than 5 units. Only one savior skill and one dancing skill. No duplicate heroes. Rules and settings. There are a couple of rules you can set for your matches in SD. Not all rules are available to be set in all SD modes. In SDR and SDS, all rules are preset by the game already. Available rules are. Matchmaking settings, no restrictions book 3 and prior. Available in favor battles, free duel and practice duel. In SDR and SDS, this setting is set to no restrictions. Book 3 and prior limits the units that can be used to those from version 3.11 and earlier. Time limit, none auto 30 seconds. 60 seconds. Available in free duel and practice duel. In favor battle, SDR and SDS, this setting is set to 30 seconds. Auto is functionally the same as 30 seconds. Map, auto the 5 maps of the current rotation. Available in free duel and practice duel. In favor battle, SDR and SDS, this is set to one of the maps of the current rotation. This map will be the same for favor battle and SDRS for a span of 2 weeks, then it changes to another map of the same rotation. LV, 40, no support, on off auto. Available in favor battles, free duel and practice duel. In SDR and SDS, this setting is set to off. On, all units will be stripped of merges and summon or support and set to LV40 if they are not. The game also removes banes from all units, a unit gets plus 3 slash 4 to the stat that would be their bane, or plus 1 to each of 3 highest base stats for neutral units. Auto seems to be exactly the same as off. A summon or duels match. A match of summon or duels is a real-time, 1v1 battle between two players that lasts for up to 5 turns. There are several unique mechanics in SD that aren't found in any other FE content. Team Color Upon entering a match, you are randomly assigned to be either the blue team or red team. Blue team moves first on turn 1. If playing multiple free duels against the same person in a row, team color will alternate. I'm excited! Actions. Each turn, both players take turns performing up to 6 actions. After one player performs an action, Let's go the say hello. performs the next action, unless one of the players has run out of eligible actions. Let's actions go say hello. include attacking, using an assist, using a duo or harmonized skill, moving a unit or just staying I'm in I'm grateful to you. Lean on me. Always do. Activating skills like Gale Force will allow the unit to act again in the same turn, but it does not affect the order of actions. This no means one the enemy will it. be able to perform an action before the Gale Force user can use their second action. Each player can only use up to one duo harmonized skill per turn. Turn order. On turn 1, the blue team moves first. This random Let's go say can hello. strongly affect matches, especially Guide for aggressive me. teams. From turn 2 to 5, which player moves first is determined by the number of actions left last turn. Whoever had more actions left at the end of the last turn gets the first move. If both players had the same number of actions left, whoever hmm. moved first last turn gets the first move again. Manually and in turn. Tap the end turn to manually end your turn at any point in the match. Doing so will end all your unit's actions, you will not be able to perform any action for the rest of Let the turn. Let us begin. However, ending turn also doesn't cost an action, so no crystal will be used by doing so, helping you with getting the first move on the following turn. No one gets through.
no one gets match. through. There are three regular Set. ways to end a match. It is turn five and both players have ended their turn. Whoever has the higher total score wins. If both players have the same total score, it is considered a draw. All units of one player have been defeated. A player without any remaining units loses the match, regardless of total score. The other player is considered the winner. A player surrenders the match. The other player is considered the winner. Because the game only checks for surrenders after each action, both players surrendering during the same action will result in a loss for both. Scoring. There are two ways of gaining score in SD. You always want to consider both as potential win conditions to help with flexibly adjusting to the opponent during the match. KO score. KO score is denoted by the number next to the sword above the map. Normal unit KO normal unit. Two points. Captain KO normal unit normal unit KO captain. Three points. Captain KO captain. Four points. Capture score. Capture score is denoted by the number next to the tile symbol above the map. At the end of each turn, if one player has at least two more units inside the capture area than the opponent, they gain two points. Exception, the captain skill turmoil. Captain counts as two units for calculating capture score. Guide me. Guide me. Guide me. Blessings and Seasons. Non-legendary units and in-season mythics receive the respective stat boost from in-season legendary units on the team, regardless of which blessing they currently have. Mythic blessings have no effect in SD. In-season pair-up legendary units receive additional stats from the pair-up mechanic. The legendary unit gains visible stats based on the visible stats of their pair-up cohort. ATK, 10. SPD death res, 10. Maximum bonus of plus 4 to each stat, rounded down. Miscellaneous SD Weirdness Player Enemy Phase in SD There is no player and enemy phase It's all just Phase That means that all start of turn effects trigger at the same time Skills with that start of player phase or enemy phase trigger only once per turn And some effects like Fallen Star just don't work at all Penalty effects that are applied after a unit has used their action will be carried over into the next turn They are only removed by that unit using their action this is not the case for bonus effects, those will be removed at the end of each turn. I will do my best. Love and gratitude. Pulse tie skills cannot do their job on turn 1, since no specials can be charged before it activates. Therefore, even Pulse Tie, which activates on turns 2 and 4, is more useful than Odd Pulse Tie, which only works on turns 3 and 5. Cedar's PRFC skills function as usual, after all start of turn effects of both players trigger, they'll do the res check and can end a unit's action for the entire turn. Melee units gain death res plus 7 when in combat versus a ranged unit, regardless of who initiated combat. The stats are not granted if a melee armor with far save triggers the savior effect due to a teammate being targeted. But if the far savior is targeted directly, they will gain this buff. If you would like a more in-depth summoner duels learning experience, please check out the entire guide linked in the description. If you would like more audio excerpts from the guide, and if granted permission from the original authors, I can upload more of these to the channel. I also have my own things regarding summoner duels as a whole, but I thought this would be a good way to gauge if my audience even wants me to talk more in depth about this game mode. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.